My name is Kim Knight. My job title is supervisor and I've been here 15 years. I had no prior background in this and I'm a high school graduate. When I started, I started as a simple laborer. When my supervisor went on vacation or she was not in, I took her spot and just over the years I just moved up. When I come into work, my job is to go over the daily jobs that need to be done. So I have to organize, whether it's material, and I have to also organize the people. Time management and organization are the two top skills that you need. In this business, every week it's the same thing. You need to get the product out of propagation and into a greenhouse. That's number one. That's your first job of the week. To become educated in this before you get here, it would be much easier. And another thing is to be bilingual. It is a fun job. You become close with your coworkers and you're with flowers every day. My name's Betty. I'm the inventory control supervisor. I'm also supervising the UPC and pot cover machine. I've been here, oh geez, November's gonna be like 23 years. I started out on nights on the pot cover machine, moved up to Azalea Crew, because I wanted on days, and then I became lift truck driver. First thing in the morning I get here, I gotta look at the spreadsheet, go over the order, go over the UPCs, make sure everything matches, then I gotta, we gotta pick out whatever we're supposed to use, like a pot cover, color coordinating, it might be a wrap. It's pretty interesting. Just the process, there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes in the finished product. Math, English, organization skills, big time. Really have to pay attention to detail. I was lucky enough I was able to like work myself up, but honestly, I would go to school for it. A lot of people that have been here a lot of years, I get talking to them about back in the day and it's crazy what they used to do and how they used to do it. Like it's not as hard as it used to be. It's totally different. It's the little tiny things you pick up as you go. But when it's busy time, oh yeah, it's crazy. But I love it, we love it. <laughs> I'm Steve Bridgman. My job title is Senior Crop Maintenance and I've been here for 14 years. Uh, the first two years I was just a general laborer and then I got into the crop maintenance program and have learned everything from the growers. They had a posting for a junior crop uh, and I applied for it and got it and worked from the ground up. The first thing I do is I walk all 15 acres. I have to check everywhere. I start in the morning, usually before I start work, quickly go through the inside. Inside's a lot easier because it's controlled atmosphere. It's a lot more sophisticated and time consuming to be outside. Checking if there's dry plants anywhere, measure and check the growth of the plant, do a spray to help regulate the growth on them, to slow them down or speed them up. I find the um, the day-to-day, -day, like the, the mixing of fertilizers, finding out if everything's right, the chemicals, the mixing chemicals, stuff like that, I find it all interesting. No, no two days are the same, because everything changes. It depends a lot on the weather. Make sure that you are very aware of what's going on, the plants you're working with, the crop you're working with. Patience, <laughs> and just an understanding of your surroundings. It makes it a lot easier to, to understand what can go wrong, because if you miss something, it can lead to losing a crop. My name is Helena Schmidt. I've been working in agriculture for 13 years now, and my current position is HR manager. It could be anything from creating labor report, doing administration for recruiting labor, to uh, monitoring employees. I would say a friendly attitude, a positive attitude, people skills. I don't have a high school education. Um, I started working in agriculture 13 years ago. My position at the time was general labor. I just took some courses along the way to enhance my position. I just worked my way up. I love the greenhouse atmosphere and um, always learning new things. Always look at everything as a positive stepping stone to grow. I've been working here for about four years in biological control. On a regular day, I'd be driving up and down my rows and on a scissor lift and looking for problems in the crops such as pests, diseases and viruses. I would have a cooler with me a lot of times that contains um, our beneficial insects to deal with problems when, I, when they come up. Searching and recognizing. You've got to have a sharp eye to look out for a lot of these problems that can come up because they can be as obvious as a full set of wilted plants or as minuscule as, say, a few yellow specks on a leaf. Uh, I began work in agriculture as soon as I was graduated from high school. I started my job at a bit of a lower level, underwent about two or three weeks of training and some studying, then I got hired as a full-time scout. Well, it's a constantly changing field and we're always looking for like a better more convenient way to do our job. That includes sometimes using some of the most recent technology, so like smartphones for example. There's apps that we can use to kind of shortcut our jobs. We can do things like comparing a pesticide 
with a beneficial insect to see how they can work together or if they don't mix. That way we can look it up, cross-check it before we've ever touched anything, don't have to make a call, go on the internet or anything. I'd say keep your mind open to learning because like that you think that you've dealt with everything that there can be to be dealt with. A new problem can come up and you've got to learn something new again. My name is Paul Warren. I am a Operations Supervisor at Phase 3 Packing. We pack all the peppers and I've been employed in the agriculture industry uh, roughly 15 months now. I've had trade school, not really conducive to this industry. Large distribution background, but this is the first time that I've actually been involved in any type of pack operation and it's been a great experience. Of all the jobs I've had, I'm going to say that this is probably one of the most rewarding jobs. Uh, challenging wise, it changes every day. Be prepared for long hours, hard work. I think the biggest thing would be uh, people management. For me, I learned, learned as I went along. It was all new to me, but when I started here, I thought it was just putting peppers in a box, but there's a, a whole lot more to it than that. The packing line that we use, uh, some of the programs we can sort by size, we can sort by weight, by color. Uh, there's a lot of technology in the, into the packing end of it. It's still manually intensive. We still, you know, because we do a lot of customer pack, there's a lot of hand pack. But for the most part, when we don't have those specific customer orders, everything's down the line and in the box and it's all done for you. So automation, like anything, speeds up the process and, you know, makes us more profitable at the end of the day. My name is Harry Stichter and I, I'm the grower for uh, Nature Fresh Farms and I take care of uh, 30 acres, and I've been in this sector for over 35 years. Well, my, my background is I'm very fortunate. I, I grew up on a farm, and from a very young age, I knew what I wanted to do is, is work in agriculture and making decisions with my father uh, on the climate and fertilization in the greenhouses. And then eventually, my father let me take care of the greenhouse, and he went off to different jobs. My typical day, look at the climate at my computer, and I, I check the humidity, CO2, uh, temperatures, irrigation, uh, CO2 graphs, making sure they're in their guidelines. Go into the greenhouse, pick some random rows and walk uh, through them, checking the heads of the plants, the flowering clusters, see if the bees have done their job and the bios are doing well. At the same time, looking at the crop work of the employees, what they have done. To be able to uh, read your plant, what it needs and requires for the greenhouse and, and the plants and, and people, and to be able to respond quickly on these demands. The most exciting component of my job is looking how beautiful the crop is, seeing what is developing, producing. It makes me feel very gratified. I'm Brian Norg. I'm operations manager, and I've been in agriculture for close to 25 years now. I grew up on a dairy farm, so I've been in agriculture pretty well all my life. And then I went into a bit of construction and built some houses and barns. From there I went into the trucking industry uh, for eight years. I drove truck for six. Then I dispatched for two years, which gave me a skill of office administration. The first greenhouse I ever worked in, I actually helped build. From there I was a grower, and then I went into energy maintenance, biomass, boilers. I usually like to arrive at work by 7 a.m. and get myself situated in my office, go through the day in my head and on the computer. I like to have a small meeting with my maintenance supervisor and my head of IT department. The two top skills for my position is a good communication skill to my personnel, a vast array of knowledge in several different areas and trades. What I look forward to every day is that it won't be the same today as it was yesterday. And I also enjoy um, finding new technologies and implementing them into our farm. One of the biggest ones would be the implementation of iPhones and iPads. Wireless communication has really helped us to keep an overview of our entire farm just from the palm of our hands. I feel agriculture is a wonderful industry to be involved in because there is so many different areas that you can work in. We have an IT department that all he looks after is computers. We have a full-time electrician, we have full-time mechanics, and we also have full-time growers. It's just a wonderful place to work.